and welcome back to my channel. This is Didsbury Art Studio and I'm Sally and in today's video what I want to do is revisit a video that I did once before on brickwork smocking but this time I want to do a half inch grid which will make the design really miniature and small and I thought it'd be quite interesting to see how that might turn out so let's get straight into the video. Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Will ever figure out where the road goes From falling down, I will keep on searching for my highs. You can say I lost my mind, I will keep on holding my head high, even if the sky is falling down. So, this time I have done the brick design before but I've only done it on one inch square grid. This is half an inch square grid. I want to do a teeny tiny one. I want to see how it looks. I've used a kind of woolly, silky material, which I've just put up and done 11 inches down and 12 inches across. And this is what the design should look like. So you probably want to take a screenshot of that. And I don't know if you saw that on the time lapse there, but I've already, well, I already had a half inch square grid drawn out with pencil there, which I've used quite a bit before, but it's handy to have some of these already made up. And if the fabric is transparent, like this one, I could see through. It wasn't as transparent as I'd have liked it to be. And I was stretching my eyes a bit there, but yeah, I did see that I could see the design through the fabric. So that was all good. I'm going to start by coming right down at the bottom of this line. I've put a knot in and I'm going to head straight up to the middle of this little arrow here. You've got a straight line like this in this design. I'm just going to leave it slack. I'm not going to draw it in. I'm just going to put another little stitch there. It doesn't pull. And I'm going to head down this diagonal down to the bottom left. Pop a little stitch in. And I'm going to draw that thread in so that the two bits of fabrics are joining. And I hold that between my thumb and my finger and then do a tiny little stitch through. I'm also going to take my needle through the loop and give that a little pull. I've remained in the middle of that arrow so now I am going to find the next arrow here and take my needle up to the corner of it And then we're going to draw those two together and pop a little stitch in there. I'm also going to take my needle through the loop. I'm also going to pop a little knot there as well. Now I can already say that if you go back to my previous there, work videos. I've got quite a few actually because you can do a few different things with them. Ah, oh, that knot's just moved. Let me just pop it in again. Is that I was going to say was already it feels a lot more fiddly with the half inch grid. Nevertheless, we're going to crack on with this and see how it turns out. I'm going to go to the middle of the next arrow and I'm 
going to head down to this first diagonal here. Small, tiny stitch in the corner, the bottom right. Uh, I'm going to pull that in very carefully so that the lines join. And I'm going to pop a little stitch in, take my needle through the loop, give that a pull. And I'm then also going to head over here to the top of that diagonal, pull that fabric in, and pinch, pop a stitch in, tie a knot, And we are going to continue going up. So I'm going to do a vertical line up here. Tiny stitch in the middle of that next arrow. And I'm going to leave that length of thread slack there. I'm not going to pull it because it's on a straight. So I want it to remain flat. Pull that in. And then Head over to the bottom left of that arrow. You keep it up. <laughs> I know it's really small to watch. Very fiddly actually to sew. Well, I'm desperate to see what it would look like. It's just another idea, isn't it? I want to explore different scales of the smocking along with different fabrics. And also preparing different fabrics and then doing smocking on top. That's the plan anyway. And I also want to design some of my own smocking too. I'm going to do a couple more videos with lots of different designs in them because I know that there's one that you really like that I did. I think I did nine designs in one video and you love that one. So I'm in the middle of this arrow and I'm just going to head up there to the top left and pull that in, pop a stitch into there and pull and pop a knot there as well. Okay, so hopefully you can see this. So you can see where I'm heading next is going to be a straight vertical up here, start in the middle draw in the diagonals and off we go again. So I'm going to do this row and then I'll show you what it looks like. I am so nearly finished on this one. Thank you. <laughs> so I'm just watching a YouTuber there that I subscribe to called Josie. She's really funny actually, that little bit there was just, she's great. She's a YouTuber which I really like the fashion that she presents on her channel. Also just the gardening and everything, it's it's really good. So I, I will leave her linked below. It takes so long to build up this audience. Yeah, I am really enjoying it, but obviously I manage doing my other jobs as well. So there's only a certain amount that I feel that I can do. I, I know that I get so, such lovely comments. I always really appreciate that feedback. I hope that it helps your artwork as well. Anyway, I can see that this smocking is really gathering up, shrinking the overall size of the fabric. And I know that that is one question. I get comments on what is the size of the start of the fabric that you've used? What does it shrink to? At the end of this, I'll measure what the fabric shrank to. I will try and remember when I'm editing later. But I'll show you what this looks like now. So yeah, it's looking... Hopefully when I do the next row, you'll be able to see a full brick, but these are the beginnings.
Hmm. So I'm also watching another YouTuber that I subscribe to, Kerry Welkdale, with her family on a holiday skiing in Sierra Nevada. She's just about to break the cost down. I have been skiing a couple of times before, but we're talking years and years ago. I go trip to Germany skiing. I also been Austrian friend of mine. We went skiing in Austria. I also worked for doing the kids work really young in France twice working for a holiday company and I've got loads of skiing done there. Though just watching on the slopes there just makes me want to do it again. Maybe you need to do a skiing trip. I have done the second row. Let's get back to this. I've done a second row there. But I will show you what that looks like. Looks like this on the back sewing. So it's really, really shrinking. And then it looks like this. These are the little mini bricks that are starting to develop there. You can see those. So very, very cute. Can't wait to do more. But yeah, this this is how much we've got. This has actually taken some time to do. But the material, as I said, is really soft wool. There it's it's coming out really delicious. Okay, so I've just managed to finish this off. They are so dinky and cute, aren't they? Like little brickwork smocking pattern designs. So that's the front, obviously, and that's where I've been sewing on the back. And I will just measure this up now to leave you the feedback of how much it shrinks by, but you can see it has pretty much shrunk a lot but yeah hope you like it obviously if you use some different types of fabrics you could dye this as well or paint it whatever you'd like So I hope you enjoyed the results of the video today the brickwork smocking little miniature bricks. Let me know in the comments what types of videos you'd like up next and I shall see you in the very next video.